What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage, and today we have Camaro news, and this is good Camaro news. It's juicy, it's hot, let's get to it. What's going on guys, as you could tell, we're at the Lethal Garage and I've gone full fluffy hair. It's hot, it's been like 100 plus out here, Every day it's been crazy. I, I don't know how everybody else's summer is starting. Technically it's not even summer, what's today? I think summer starts tomorrow, the 22nd. But anyways, uh, Camaro news. There's lots of new stuff and I'm gonna start with the hottest one, or at least the coolest looking one, uh, because this was actually revealed a couple days ago. I posted on my Instagram the moment it hit the news waves, but GM is introducing a new color for 2022. It's called Vivid Orange Metallic. Now, here's a picture of the car that I think there's a couple images that came out about, but I'm gonna grab and put up what I can here, so you're probably staring at the images I found. This color is beautiful. It reminisces of the SEMA orange that we saw on the Copo Camaro, which I thought was gorgeous. And then when I found out they were never making a car in that color, it made me really sad. So this is actually really, really close to the reveal color of the Copo Camaro. I'll show you a picture of that here. And I, I really like orange. I think orange looks really good on the car. I wasn't the biggest fan of the pastel colors, kind of like the blues and or the orange and the blue and uh, the green that they had before. Just reminded me too much of Easter. Not that Easter is a bad thing, but I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Wasn't a big fan of that color. It wasn't close enough to like the original Hugger Orange, which obviously GM can't have because I believe Dodge owns the rights to Hugger Orange now. It's convoluted and complicated, but yes, new color coming. There's a lot of things coming down the pipeline for 2022, which leads to production. So as you guys know, GM has been on hold of production for the remaining 2021 models and getting prepped and ready for the 2022 models. A lot of people even went to say, oh, Camaro's never gonna be produced again. GM's done with it, blah, 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 blah. Well, good news, on this day, June 21st in Lansing, Camaros are being built. I got messages from people who work at the factory and basically stating, we're back at work, we're building Camaros. So Camaro production has kicked back off. It is going down. Now, the one thing they didn't tell me and they probably won't tell me is what model years they're making. I think they're probably going through and retrofitting all of the cars that have been waiting in a parking lot for chips getting those out the door and then actually producing probably 2022 model year cars. Now, last we heard there was enough to make about another 300 cars, enough parts and pieces to get those off the line for 2021. Maybe they're running those cars. I don't know the full details or story there. So if you're willing to give me that information, shoot me a DM on uh, Instagram or message me uh, at info at lethalgarage.com. Be happy to share with everyone about it. But what we do know, people are back at work in Lansing, they're building Camaros, this is all good news. So 2020, 2022 model year Camaros are coming and uh, it just it, it's always led to the problem that many of us Camaro fans have seen for years is GM has done a very terrible job marketing the Camaro. It's almost like they don't want to sell cars. First they ran it, well one, they're just like, oh, we'll just have the car available to a major league baseball winner or the NBA or whatever stupid sports finals and they give them a choice between a truck and a Camaro. It's like, that's your advertising? Like whoever your advertising agency is, is terrible. They're doing no influencer marketing. They're doing no content creation. They're doing absolutely nothing to make the Camaro brand exciting and popular among today's audience of people who are interested in buying cars. And <laughs> To tie it all together, whoever runs the at Chevrolet agency on Twitter, I caught this firsthand. I'm gonna throw a screenshot up there. Tell me what you see wrong with this photo. This has all of GM's current vehicles kind of just like lined up, like, oh, which one are you taking? Which one are you gonna drive? And it's like, really guys? And it just leads to an agency that knows nothing about cars, nor do they have a desire to even learn about the cars they're working on. They're literally just an account doing A to B standard generic crap for social media to get clicks, get likes, and get shares. And in this mishap, they literally put an early fifth gen model in to represent a Camaro next to a brand new C8 Corvette. 
Not even a C, not like not even a Gen 6 Camaro. Not even a, a Gen 6.5 Camaro where you know it's the newer body style or the change or like what the heck is going on? Now, I will say they did delete the post. I'm pretty sure someone was like, hey, you're an idiot. <laughs> the Camaro you have in this document is not the right one. Maybe there was other mix-ups here, but you know, let me know what you think in of the image. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's interesting. You know, GM has farmed out all of their marketing just about to agencies, or at least their social interactions and stuff. And it's just sad. It really is. You know, they need to get back to bringing in-house support for their brands. You know, they might think they're saving money, but honestly, they are losing quality and the agencies they're hiring are doing terrible jobs and no one is holding them accountable. So Camaro is still not being marketed, still not being talked about, and uh, it still has potentially 2022 and 2023 model year to go. So I, I don't know, maybe Camaro will be done after this year, so. We can hope they bring a seventh gen. Rumor on the street is 2025. There may be something coming, whether it's an electric, whether it's a hybrid, I, I don't think it's a hybrid. So we'll see. Our fingers are crossed for a sports electric coupe. That's what I want. And if it's a Camaro, awesome. If it's not, I'm still gonna check it out. Hopefully it's not $250 million to buy it. So. There you have it. That's today's Camaro news. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in more Camaro news as it comes out. That's quite a bit of stuff today. Plants open, cars are being built, vivid orange metallic Camaro, and marketing blunders. There you have it. Till next time, guys. See you on the road.